All right, so uh, your recent music video was um, I'm allergic. Like I said earlier, got a couple thousand views, so you know, congrats on that. Now you got any music on the way coming soon? Any albums? Uh, me, and, me and my brother West Side Dot, you dig? Um, we got Fly Traffic Volume 2 on the way. Um, I'm sure everybody in Phoenix heard of Fly Traffic Volume 1, you mm -hmm. feel me? Um, that was cool. That was last year. We got uh, Volume 2 on the way. And then we got um, Humble May, obviously, got a, a solo project, you dig? Um, BSV got some shit in the works. Um, and then me and, me and T. We, we also got our solo shit lined up, but. Um, we created the whole vibe of the fly trapping, you know, the whole fly trapping vibe. So like, we want to get a fans uh, second version of that right. first, you know, like give them, you know, number two of that. And then, you know, we gonna um, do the, you know, do the solo thing, but we both got some, some crazy shit on the way for sure. You know, we got a couple features that's already locked in that we didn't, we just waiting to unleash to the world, right. you dig? So, you know, we definitely um, doing everything bigger this time around as far as like production, features, promotion, you know what I'm saying? Merchandise, all that, everything gonna be bigger. You feel me? So- I, I like what you're doing because you're planning ahead of, you know, before everything else happens. Like you're planning ahead, like you have everything with your, your beavers, like you just said, your features, your mm -hmm. merchandise, your, uh, music coming out you know so that's a good thing because people might ask well what's your backup plan if this don't work out or if that don't work out you know oh man i got i got two businesses <laughs> you dig you know what i'm saying i got five different hustles and six different lifestyles you dig so like i'm not worried about nothing if this, if this don't work try that one if that one don't work try that one if this car don't work try that one and you're you still dig? young too so you got plenty of time to you know make an name for yourself out here because this like i we talked about this off camera this rapper is you know, damn near 45 trying to have a rap. Man, <laughs> I'm, 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 I don't knock nobody, yeah. but yeah, yeah, it'd be like that. It do, I definitely. Know, now, um, we talked about, you know, off camera, you're always coming after the money. But you mentioned, you said you always had, you never had that problem with girls, so like. Never had that problem. These bitches, the bad bitches been here, my nigga. They, they been here, man. They out there and they, they, you know, they everywhere, man. Go get you one. You did? The thing is, can you keep you one? You feel me? Because these bitches, you know, they everywhere, man. You know, they, they, they got the motherfucking attention span of a squirrel. You dig? So, you know, they see a ball roll by, they might go chase it, you know? But you feel me? I feel like the difference between that is now, you know, these bitches is, you know, they here, but they out of pocket. Once the money come, them bitches gonna be, I don't wanna go nowhere, you feel me? I'm 10 toes down for you, you know, all that, you know? So like, it just, it changed how they act, you feel would me? You, would you date a celebrity? Like, Hell yeah, I date a celebrity. <coughs> well, I already, when I blow up, I already know who I'm finna get. I, I got a couple in mind, I got like a top three. I definitely need Zendaya, she so cold, my nigga. Zendaya, oh yeah. Zendaya cold. She, she fresh too, ain't nobody got her yet too. Yes. I need her, my nigga. Oh, she so cold, but I think I think she didn't got ran through though. I don't know, she nigga might have got to her. One of them white niggas from that 70s show or something. But, I mean, uh, man, Zendaya, she cold though. I need her. Yeah, yeah. I like Kiki Palmer. She, she doing my dreams. Oh, Kiki, she doing her thing. She growing up too. Her and, um, she doing her thing. You know Demi Lovato? Okay, Demi Lovato. She, she kind of weird though. I, she just got that emo gothic. Type yeah, of I would, I would have that would have to happen organically. I wouldn't force that. But um, yeah, definitely. But, um, you talking about just matching or dating or wiping? What you thinking? Oh man, Zendaya. Zendaya's beyond bad. Bro. Hey man, I, I man, man. <laughs> the sky's the limit with Zendaya, but yeah, she's man. She's tall though. She's like five ten, five eleven. Yeah. She, I think she's two models on the side. Damn. She acts and she oh, okay. She tall with she's it. About, no, I'm six three, so she's probably like five. Like, Probably like a little, like an It's cool. I definitely got some some Gucci boots with a little, you know, width on them. I could just, you know, throw them on, baby. You know, get her a little uh motherfucking Versace slippers or something. Knock her down a little bit. Knock me up. You know, we will get there. I, you, I ain't tripping. I knock her tall ass down. Though you heard me. But anyways. Um. Yeah. What's What's your take on like? We talk about this off camera about like, you know, rappers trying to affiliate themselves with gang banging and, you know, people, it, it being a no fly zone where you gotta check in. What's the take on all this, like, like, um, this, I don't wanna say violence, but like this, uh, this, uh, scene where you have to, like, do this stuff just to get approval from the streets for your records to sell? Like, how you feel about 
that, that movement? I mean, I feel like it's more so like what you talking about. You mm -hmm. feel me? Like if you talking that shit, like you just out here and you just better than everybody and all that other shit, the street's gonna want you to prove that. You feel me? And that's oh, okay. that's where the checking in shit come from. Like, oh, how you that street? You ain't even check in with the streets. You went straight to the motherfucking Coliseum and did your show. You you wasn't on no street shit. You didn't tap in with us. So that's why the streets feel disrespected. They're like, damn, all you rap about is the streets, and we ain't see you. You feel me? Yeah, for sure. But um, like different niggas that don't rap like that, like like you said, like Drake and shit like that. Like, okay, you was mentioning how you know Drake is on another level. So yeah, it's definitely his situation. It's definitely levels. Like Drake. You know what I'm saying? He's more of a like, you know what I'm saying? He's more of an established artist to the point where, you know what I'm saying? He's damn near a fucking pop artist, you feel me? So like, he not no street nigga, bro. We don't expect that from him. So we not finna like press him mm -hmm. on no street shit because he's he's not, his music isn't like directed at us. He's not like making, he didn't make his claim to fame off the streets basically. But right. certain, right. certain rappers like 21 Savage, for instance, his claim to fame is being a street nigga. You feel me? Different niggas like that, like, let me see, who else? Yeah, you say um, Young Dolph, Black Gangster? Yeah, Young Dolph, playing the fame, being a street nigga, you know what I'm saying? He, he can be real as possible, I'll fuck with Dolph, he can be the realest nigga ever, but mm -hmm. the streets is going to verify that, whether, you know what I'm saying, you're real or not, they're going to make sure, nigga, if you wolfing that street shit, call that black, different niggas like that, like, you know, niggas might get tested, or some niggas, they, you know what I'm saying, the streets, if you have a resume, bro, you, nigga, the streets will check your resume, and they might not test you because your resume is so solid you feel me like so my i didn't cut you off but my question is like you think so these um people that try to press these like supposed street rappers you think they, they do it because they don't really like them like at all or they, they, they just try to test them like you just mentioned no nah, they, they test them in hopes that they pass the test you feel me the streets want you to be a real street nigga we just have to find out okay we want you to be real we pray that you're real you what's know what i'm saying like what's the test exactly is it like y'all like gang banging or shooting each other fighting? it, it, it like, it's it's it could be anything it's just you, you we have to put you in a situation we have to give you some type of confrontation that you're supposed to defeat ultimately because if you really from the streets nigga no confrontation should be out of, out of your element, you know what I'm saying? Because you're from the streets, and in the streets, you have to deal with confrontation every day. Right. You feel me? So if we give you this little confrontation, you should handle that like a piece of cake, you feel me? But no, niggas, they buckle, or they run, or they, you know, they don't want nothing to do with it, and that's how we know, bro, that you're fraudulent, or, you know, you're not, you know what I'm saying? Because if you were the nigga that was rapping in these songs, you would have did what you said you did in, in song number three on your album type shit, you feel I me? Mean, Cause like it's a rapper he just blew up i think from last year or something but his name is king some white skin dude oh god <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> you know i've seen that shit, man I don't know, DJ yes bro i've seen it man so, and that's definitely a disgrace because that was some little nigga that wanted the fair one and he was holding the camera while he was doing it like bro <laughs> that situation let's just explain to the audience what that what happened so um you want to explain it or you want me to explain i'll explain it, it. Okay. the little nigga you know what i'm saying like tested him why because him that nigga in particular oh yeah he's real loud big bees this big blood that da, 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 you feel me so the louder you are the more you are likely to get tested like they say that you know what i'm saying the loudest nigga in the room the weakest in the room all that niggas gonna test you you feel me so like a nigga that's just getting his money and you know on the low bro you're not gonna get tested like that you just getting your money you just you know we know that but these other niggas like that nigga oh he banging this he all oh, i checked this nigga i put up on your block you wasn't there bang bang 300 chief key nah bro we gonna we gotta verify that and his shit was not verified bro and that little nigga wanted his fade and that nigga ran around that mall with his bags and shit so it just looked like a damn fool he was like trying to put his bag down so he could take his gun out or something no nah, that nigga was trying to throw a soda at the nigga and shit bro no nope no all those is excuses bro i hear them for regular niggas that didn't want to fight so that nigga you know like it'd be like that bro and you just wasn't ready for that type of pressure bro and your music should not be how it is if that's the type of nigga you are bro you yeah. might as well be a singer you get on your auto tune shit get on your motherfucking party next door shit i'm sure he's not getting pressed oh, for sure. you know what i'm saying i'm sure he's not getting pressed bro I, I um i have to ask you one last question but before we get to that now um uh, I like, I don't want to say outfit, you wearing like all white, and I want to get those shoes on camera too. These are, you want to explain these, what these are? Oh yeah, these, the Kamikazes by Doomsday USA, you dig? Self-made, black-owned business, you know? And uh, yeah, man, these ain't even out yet to keep it 100. Yeah. These the second draw, these come out next month. They fresh though. Yeah, but as far as this all white shit, you know, that's why they call me the Pope, Pope Francis, you dig? Mr. All White. Yeah. 
you know, cleanliness, uh, cleanliness is next to godliness, you feel me? And, oh, for sure. you know, white is the best way to display how clean you are, you did, because, you know, hey, not a stain, you did. Yes, sir. Not a stain. But, um, yeah, man, that, that's that's my thing, man. You know, I, I like to be clean, and I just let a nigga know not to touch me when you see me in the club. Please don't Absolutely. don't touch me. Don't lean up against me. Don't reminisce with me. I don't even want to shake your hand, you did. <laughs> like, Absolutely, bro. Now, um, last thing I want to say, so... Um, there was an incident where you probably know about it, but um, King Yellow and Six Hundred Breezy and Billionaire Black. Ah, you know, uh, yeah. Video. What's your take on that situation? Because you just talked about checking in, and you know, but yeah. that's different because they's already you know known for. Yeah, I, it it looked like they already knew each other from before any of them had any type of like clout whatsoever. Right. So they probably was like all street niggas at one point, and. It's like, now that we famous, nigga, you think we still can't get on some street shit? I don't even know what they whole shit was about, but they I mean. Throw hands, so I guess they got, they confronted each other. Billionaire Black and King Yellow was, you know, confronting Six Hundred Breezy. They didn't fight, which is a good thing. But then Definitely. they was talking like, oh, y'all talk about this and that, but y'all are ops. So y'all supposed to throw hands right on the spot. But they in the mall, they got everything to lose. They got their rap career on the line. You know? Exactly. So, and people don't see that. The average broke nigga not going to understand that this nigga is no longer in the streets. He a businessman. You right, feel me? Exactly. But you, that's at, at that point, you got to choose. Do you want to be a street nigga or a businessman? Exactly. 600 Breezy was with Drake. He been, that nigga been hanging out with Drake. You feel making moves. Exactly. Do you want to ruin that to scuffle one right. time in the mall, my nigga? Hey. Um, the uh, last one to ask is on social media. You have any? Obviously, you do, but you know, I ask all the time. I have to ask all the people I interview. You got any social media so the fans can follow you? Oh, yeah. FAMG Rocksmith everywhere. Uh, Instagram, motherfucking Twitter, FAMG Rocksmith. Snapchat, Trap Life Rock. You did? Uh, you. Finesse Rocksmith, man. Google me, man. I'll pop up. Yeah, I appreciate you, man. Thanks for, you know, your time and 